Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to do some basic troubleshooting formulas. So let's take for example we have a table, uh, this is like an amortization table, and uh, there's a bunch of formulas in here and may, in, maybe in your situation you're looking at seeing uh, there's some kind of incorrect calculation and you want to see where that is. But of course a table could be uh, constant values or some formula values and really you don't know exactly where it is. And there, here's some troubleshooting steps or here's some basic ways that you can kind of look at your table, your data, and your worksheet to kind of figure out where my formulas are and where, how I, can I troubleshoot them. So what we want to do first is we want to kind of figure out where in our table or where in our data sheet are the formulas. Now we want to show them. So instead of clicking into each cell, if I click into each cell, I can see, oh, here's some formulas here. Uh, here's a formula here. Um, wait, oh, this is just a value. Um, so if we want to kind of get a broad overall view of in our, our worksheet where the formulas are, we can actually just have it show uh, which ones are formulas and which ones, which ones aren't in a global scale. And what you can do is you can use the uh, control tilde keyboard function control tilde and what it's going to do is it's going to give you the view of the actual data behind the cell so after I clicked control tilde you, you can see which cells are basically just values and which cells are composed of formulas we can see here uh, in this particular worksheet the first three rows are just values this fourth row is a formula the sixth and seventh row are the formulas and this table here is primarily composed of formulas but the first column here is a lot of values so that's one way to kind of take from a high level view of your table or your data where are our formulas and where they aren't. Let me go ahead and press control TLD. Uh, that will toggle it and change it back into a view where it's not showing the formulas. Now another way to see uh, our, where our formulas are within the whole table without kind of um, showing that big view is going to the go special command. So, so if we wanted to just highlight all the um, cells that have formulas, what we can do is go to find select and click go to or the keyboard shortcut is control G. It's going to bring up this window here and I want to go and click on special. And in the special I want to go to all the cells that contain formulas. We have this option here where we can find all the cells that contain formulas. I click OK and now it's highlighted all the cells that have formulas. We have uh, B4 here, B6, B7. We have most of the table here, columns B to E uh, with all the rows here. It's all highlighted with the cells that contain formulas. So that's another way that you can globally uh, view the particular area of your worksheet which contains formulas. Now let's say for example we have uh, a formula here or and we want to kind of find out well what are the other cells that are contributed to this formula. Now this is a very basic example. We have uh, B4 to D4. These are the two cells that contribute to the output here. Now I can go ahead and go under formulas and kind of trace them. So if I click on this trace presidents, it will indicate to me which particular cells are contributing to that formula. As we know, this is very simple. B14 to D14. It highlights it here. We have the arrows here, the circle, represents that first kind of cell and then the other circle here represents the other cell. Now we can trace precedence, we can also trace dependence. Let me go ahead and remove the arrows here. We can also trace dependence. This particular cell, where is it contributing downstream to another formula? So if I click on trace dependence, you can see that this formula here is uh, the input into the output of that particular area here, this cell here, right? So this cell actually goes into the cell. If I click on this cell, let me go ahead and uh, click remove dependence. If I click on this cell, you'll notice here it calls or the uh, input to that cell is E14, which is of course here. So that's the uh, tracing the precedence, prece precedence and dependence. Now what we can also do is look for errors. So in this table there might be errors and what I can do is I can go back to my uh, go, my go to special button, control G, click on special and let me find my errors. If I just want to find errors, I can uncheck that, uncheck that, uncheck that. And if I just want to find errors in my table, click OK. You'll find out that it's gone to the area where there's errors, right? Now this is a, actually a very simple error. It's a divide by zero error. We have a divide by zero error. But if we encounter an error, we wanted to kind of find out where it came from. Again, you know, we, we have our formula that tells us where it came from. We can click our trace the, the precedence or 
uh, that's probably going to be more giving you an idea of uh, what's wrong. If there's anything wrong in the upstream, you can kind of figure that out. But in this case, of course, it's not. there's not really something wrong in the upstream. It's divided by zero error. Now let me go ahead and click Remove Arrows. Now, um, if we wanted to kind of how this particular formula went through step by step to figure out the output that's an error, what we can do is have it evaluate the formula. So I'm going to click here in the cell for the formula, click on Evaluate Formula, and you notice now it's going to go through the steps of evaluating that formula. So you can find out particularly where in this formula that the error occurred. So if I click on Evaluate, we have it where we give our value here, the 420555. Uh, click on the uh, next evaluate. It's going to click. It's going to figure out where it's going to bring in that value. You see there's no errors here right now. If I click Evaluate again, uh, now it's going to evaluate that uh, particular divide by zero. And now you see our error here, that divide by zero here. So we know that in this particular step of the formula, that's where the error occurred. So it gives us some, some troubleshooting uh, capabilities with this evaluate formula step by step to figure out exactly where in this part of the formula uh, where it started to go wrong. So I'll click close. Now if I go ahead and just remove that divide that zero, click OK. Now you notice that, of course, the error, the um, formula functions correctly. So there's a couple steps that you can do to troubleshoot formulas within your particular worksheet, uh, trying to find out which particular cells have formulas on a global scale by using the um, control utility or just kind of click on the go to special uh, to find the formulas, and then maybe going to trace precedence or precedence or trace dependence to kind of figure out the inputs to the formula or the outputs to the formula, and then it actually going into the evaluate formula to go step by step to figure out where in the formula maybe it's uh, happening incorrectly to kind of figure out where you can start to do the troubleshooting process. So there's a couple steps here we can do to evaluate and troubleshoot formulas. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.